Alrighty, um, ladies and gentlemen, I know that I've done way too many responses to OTRS, but I just had to make one more. I watched his video earlier. He was trying to excuse the newsletter, and I just have to make a response. Um, I was flagged um, for having a bit of fun because they had, you know, they tried to destroy me in their video. So I just had a bit of fun and I was flagged, you know. So I just want to do a civilized response to his newsletter defense slash impact review. All right, and then I am done. I made a video about John Cena just to have a, a wrestling video made. You know, I, um, I hadn't made a wrestling vid in a while. Just wanted to do one. So please go watch it if you want a wrestling vid. I'm sorry. Very tired. It's very late. But I just have to respond to his freaking points about the newsletter. I'm sorry. Freaking sorry. Uh, yes. Okay, if you don't want it, just shut up about it. Ignore it. I believe that we have freedom of speech. Yes, freedom of speech. If you're allowed to charge people to read your opinion, I believe we have the right to at least have our opinion about your product. If you're going to sell a product that isn't worth two cents, we are at least allowed to voice our opinion about it, huh? We're not forcing anybody to buy it. We're not demanding anybody to buy it. In your first video, you said that people should at least try it out for a month. You said that people should step up to the plate to help you guys out. So you didn't really give people an option that was try it out <laughs> at least for a month so you're contradicting your first video these newsletters are your opinion and nobody else's and your opinion isn't worth two cents why do you believe that people should pay for your opinion I don't understand you're not a Hollywood star you're making wrestling videos on YouTube you get free news on TV, but people buy newspapers, and these newspapers cover the same topics as the news on TV. Yes, but they also have their own news, huh? a lot of it. And they, you know, you actually have a real newspaper in your hands, all right? And they're less than two bucks or whatever, a newspaper isn't expensive <laughs> compared to your email. You know, there's not even any paper. Or, uh, a newspaper has a lot more stuff in it compared to your newsletter. I mean, really, and it's real journalists <laughs> writing <laughs> the stuff. You guys are just amateurs making vids on YouTube. So, you know, you comparing yourself to a newspaper I'm sorry but it's a god darn joke a god darn joke people don't magazines charge people uh, magazines you know some of them are gonna interview Mel Gibson Clint Eastwood you guys aren't gonna have that in your newsletter alright in magazines you have a real product in your hands Okay, and people collect those magazines, etc. You know, what are people going to do? Collect all your emails in the folder? Oh, look at my big collection here on, on YouTube or I, I'm in my emails or whatever, you know. You guys are a fucking joke comparing yourself to a magazine. It's free enterprise. Yeah, well, your product should be free because it's not worth anything. You know, you got real wrestlers writing blogs and stuff like this. You know, <laughs> why should people pay for your freaking blog? You guys are nuts. 
in the wall, you know. I'm, so, I'm sorry, I don't want to say stuff that is too offend, offending. Um, Alex Jones makes money off his fans. Um, Alex Jones, you get his free shit on YouTube. He has radio shows on the internet. You pay for like movies and books or whatever. So you actually get a real product. Uh, you guys, you're selling emails for God's sakes. And how dare you compare yourself to Alex Jones? He actually has real news, you know, original news that he gets, that he gives out to people. You guys don't have that, you know, so. Alex Jones's fans buy his his stuff to help support him. Again, they get a, a real product when they buy shit from Alex Jones. And um <laughs> you know, why do you think again that people should support you? You guys should be able to support yourself. Alex Jones has to pay people and stuff like this, you know? You guys just make vids for free, you're gonna write blogs for free and paste it together and send out emails which doesn't cost you nothing. So you guys don't need money really. <laughs> you should be able to buy your own stuff. Um, you will continue to provide free vids on YouTube. Well that is irrelevant to the newsletter. And in your vids are you gonna hold back? the real topics and just save the good stuff for the newsletter. If not, then why should people pay, you know, for a newsletter which is cheaper than your free videos as far as quality? I don't get it. <laughs> you know? Um, if you don't want it, fine. If you don't want it, whatever. Um, you know, <laughs> I don't want it. <laughs> And if anybody else wants it, I think they're freaking crazy. Um, this, you know, I'm uh, very tired right now, but I just had to respond. I think his rebuttal about the newsletter was freaking outrageous. This guy is all pissed off. Buy my newsletter, don't buy it. You know, I never seen somebody try to sell their newsletter while being pissed off. <laughs> What kind of product is this? Hey, we got some shit to sell here. Buy it, motherfuckers. If you don't want to buy it, we'll fuck you then. Oh, yeah. So, you know, these guys are pretty weird. Their, their newsletter isn't worth fucking, you know, a penny, all right? Um, just call it what it is. You want money to fund your projects. Don't try to pretend you got a real product that's worth a penny even. So that's my last absolute final video. Just had to like talk about his crazy rebuttal. Alright, until next time. Peace.